Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play of the United States of America. And in this episode, we are continuing to bash our heads against the, pro the Austrian front line. Although we are making progress and we are squeezing them tighter and tighter. Um, although we are looking increasingly in need of invading Hanover. But I think I'm more inclined to kind of defend this part of the front line. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. We have engaged the the uh, advanced force of Ludwig Weiser. He's being backed up by two armies of reinforcements and they are a lot of cavalry so we want to be careful how we approach this if we advance too far forward too quickly we will find ourselves in deep stuck because we will end up uh, getting mobbed by cavalry, caught out of position and in generally just quite a bad fix. So yeah we want to advance carefully and methodically not get caught up in the idea of we're going to demolish this entire army really quickly <laughs> and then push forward and take out the next and the next ideally if I can do this with one army that will leave the ones behind me at full strength and they can maintain the pressure over subsequent turns that would be pretty awesome so my howitzers Stay behind the high ground. Well, ultimately, a lot of my stuff just kind of hunkered down. Okay, all my main, tr my main, my main body of troops form up. I think ultimately we are on a does kind of behoove us to maintain a more defensive posture. So my guns are going to trundle forward a bit, as is my line. My sharpshooters are going to take position in that farmhouse ahead of our line. Two elite units of infantry are going to be responsible for shielding us against any units that advance through the town. They're going to be backed up by a regiment of horse. My other, my other cavalry units are going to be on this flank. Okay, that's okay, that, that's okay. Advance the line forward a little bit. Sharpshooters run into the farmhouse. Gunners spread yourselves out on either flank. Sharpshooters, or like cavalry sharpshooters, push forward. The heavy horse howitzer just start annihilating um, enemy blocks of infantry. The cavalry is coming in. Let the rocket troop engage whatever targets they see fit. It looks like it's what well, it will be their artillery. They will shred the crew. Well, they're actually on. I might push this line. I don't know why you're doing. Oh, yeah, right. You men engage. Okay, right. Let's not get distracted. Infantry. Push up like so. Enemy household cavalry, they're down, they're down in significant numbers. My cavalry will beat them. Let's not get my sharpshooters involved in that fight. These sharp... Where are my sharpshooters? There we go. So they're taking positions at the top of the town. they got really good range, so they'll do some good damage. Really, I want my gunners up here firing shrapnel shot. More engagements against the enemy then against the enemy artillery. Okay, one unit start working on. Okay, we need to make sure we don't overstretch. Oh my god, I forgot about my my awesome my ace in the hole. You men run. And limber. Okay, you men shrapnel shot. Cavalry. Again, my, my sharpshooters are opening fire. Sucks the game. Stupid. Sound issues, but we're still picking them off. Okay, my howitzers need to work out, work out, um, focus on supporting the left flank, the right flank. Actually, I might even bring. 
my grenadiers over here. Drop into square. Oh, good hit on that block. Heavy cavalry still engaging. Engaging enemy hussars. Militia at low strength. Mercenaries at low strength. Enemy has light cavalry sharpshooters that are at low strength. Unlimber the heavy horse artillery. You may drop into square. Cursier ever so slowly losing to the enemy household cavalry. Let's get my regiment of horse over here as well. Yeah, let's retarget my howitzers. The light cavalry sharpshooters just reload. Hussars are in here. There's line infantry in here. You mean blast that unit of line infantry with shrapnel shot from point blank range. Bit of fratricide through my own square formation. My rockets are doing good damage to the enemy artillery at range. And my cavalry sharpshooters engage the carabiner. Retarget my howitzers to engage the enemy infantry. You men charge forward. You men stay in square. Cheek and steady. Who are you against? Hussars? Oh, the, the Hussars got all volleying the rear from the carabiner. Garrison guards get up here into the fight. Enemy general's bodyguards attempting to save the disaster. You men, get out of square. Form the line. You men, just open fire against the house of cavalry. I don't mind if they both break, so long as they both break. Get 104th to form square on the flank. Horse artillery blast that unit there. Swiss grenadiers are engaging. Okay, alright. Everybody has a target. Provincial cav don't really care about fighting them. Form our line. Awesome. Rockets away. Who are they engaging? The line of guards, that's pretty cool. Now they're gonna start to try and explore through the town. The human blast the general bodyguard, the human blast. Hello, here comes the enemy cavalry. Let's run my light cavalry sharpshooters through the Continental Marines. Sharpshooters have lost five men, but they've still done some good damage. Yeah, this unit engaged the line the regiment of foot line infantry. Probably gonna try and no, hit the enemy carabiner. Pull this line back somewhat. What we don't want is another general's bodyguard. Enemy artillery there, enemy artillery right at the back. Okay, howitzers. You engage that land there, militia. You men engage that militia for now. You men blast that land there, militia. 
This unit's firing round shot. Engage the fusiliers at max range. This unit's firing shrapnel. They cannot yet engage the fusiliers, although they might engage the provincial cavalry at maximum range. <gasps> Another heavy horse. Another heavy artillery unit. Let's put you guys in this gap. Though actually... Yeah, up there will do. Your howitzers. Keep supporting the right flank. You men blast that provincial cow. You men engage that provincial cow. You men engage that unit of a horse artillery. Which we have a broken. Quick climb still knocking out men of the militia. Maybe they're shattered. Excellent. Maybe trundle a bit further forward. Then you'll unlimber. Sharpshooter still doing well. Fusiliers. Okay, right, you men at Limba. Engage that unit of fusiliers at point blank range. Shrapnel away. Misses. Oh, if those quick limes hit, that would have been superb. That would have annihilated that unit of fusiliers. You're right. This horse artillery. Keep engaging a provincial cav. Engage the actually engage the fusiliers with shrapnel shot. Let's see if we can do that. You can. Oh, they, they're detonating early in the trees, but they just got annihilated. Awesome. Okay, pick a new infantry unit. Unit of militia. The Hessian Jaeger. We're getting into. I'm engaging my. Skirmishes. The Garrison Guardian just got laid out. Holy moly. Swiss Grenadiers are on the left, still holding. Could move you guys up ever so slightly. Jaeger under fire. It's probably a good quick climb hit here. Start to engage the infantry that's joining the battlefield at full joining the battle at full strength. Heavy horse howitzers blast. No, oh, this uh heavy horse guard artillery smash that uh, those dragoons with trap or shot. Ritual cav shattered, shattered, wavering. Broken, shaken, confident. Look at that. 24 pounder still engaging. Well, he's, en he's engaging horse artillery round shot. That's super. Okay, let's make my 24 pounders do counter battery. My horse guard artillery can focus on providing. Battlefield support. The light dragoons are pushing in. Rockets away. Who are you engaging? The enemy artillery? You are. Awesome. This unit.
go to the unit of militia, you men just keep smashing that unit of line infantry. Still haven't taken a house, we've lost two more skirmishes. Although, annoyingly, a bunch of them are just sat in here, not really being as useful as they could be. Out of sheer desperation, the General's bodyguard is committed into the fight. He's seen too many of his men die. Okay, let's hit the blunderbuss shotgunners with my cavalry. Enemy artillery has been defeated. Let's get my 24 pounders to engage enemy reinforcements at long range. Hold the squares. Combined offensive could work, but I think the enemy has chosen to commit them too late. Withdraw my cavalry. Actually, deploy in a position to kill the enemy general. Nope, he's dead. Bring him back. Form square. No, form line, sorry. Well, the enemy hussars have come back. Form square with the, with the next unit alone. You men, use Elias. Very fire at point blank range. Rockets away. Rockets away close. They've made it through to one of my gunners. They should break pretty soon. Gunners run clear, you men run clear, you men just ignore them. You may well lose my general in this engagement. Ultimately, I don't really care about not about the um, the fighting position. Let's get these mercenaries involved here as well. They got one of our one of our twenty four pounder gun units. Not enough to change the course of the battle, however. Blast that unit of militia. You men can now occupy the guns, or occupy the rockets again. The enemy light horse has been shattered. Get in the line. Excellent. Still pouring in in large numbers. Okay, everybody's generally well they're reasonable on that mission state. This unit, let's get them get them to withdraw. We need some fresh troops with more ammunition. Engage the twenty against the three pounder horse. Quick glide. The human blast that unit here with shrapnel shot. Blast them back. That's right, you guys. You guys are repeating faster. You are just. We blasted a hole in the enemy's line. More cavalry coming in. Get ready. Bring up the regiment of horse. 
quick line start trying to wipe out some of these infantry units that are pushing in regiment of horse engage the hussars Brycourt hurting our cavalry behind us I know it's going to be cav artillery coming in isn't it you immediately run away. Don't want you. Blast the Freikor. Okay, fresh unit of line infantry. Get over here. General's bodyguard, get rid of you. Hit them, although funny really. Sound sound problems are manifest are manifesting in. Uh... Oh no, the hussars have got around the flank. My gun line, no, my precious gun line. Commit, general, commit. You man, get to the top of the hill. Redeploy. Redeploy. Get into the fight, man. Hold them off. We can do that. We can do that. My artillery will fight as they are required, and they will die as needed. Although, really, I should make you guys get out of the way. You guys get out of the way. Don't, don't mind if some of them run. There we go. Crisis averted. I am Napoleon. Hooray! Okay, let's reform the line. General's bodyguard, get over here. Okay, right. Who's. So you men retreated from the heavy howitzers. You men retreated from your howitzers. Rockets are still firing. You men commit against the third light horse. The rockets are still coming in. Heavy horse guard artillery. Switch to round shot and just engage. Pretty sure, actually, most of these, a lot of these units are. I think we might have reached the end of the enemy's reinforcements. Guards also get thrown in. These men get into the get into get into the line. You can see that our formation is weak on the right flank, but we've got plenty of artillery to sh get, to show them the business. My howitzers are back up. The Swiss pikes are going to be charging us. Let's get up and ready. Sharpshooters, eh? Get them on the left. Well, they might actually get them to bolster the sharpshooters in the farmhouse. Rockets still engaging the enemy artillery. Awesome here. Everybody that is cavalry, get out of the way. human format. Garrison guards get back up on the hill, fire it well off. 24 pounders just keep hammering that front line. Actually 24 pounders get hammering the Swiss pikes. Okay, this unit can withdraw. They're at low strength, they've got low ammunition state. Swiss pikes are pushing forward, rockets screaming overhead, musket shots just tearing them apart. Yeah, they're getting it's a lot of dead Swiss pikes. Not enough though, we've killed about a hundred of them, it's not enough. 
Newman counter charge. Artillery focus on fusiliers to the rear. Counter charge the line infantry. Swiss pipes are getting cut through. Well, the trick with the we trick the Swiss pipes in always to try and surround them. Okay, General and cavalry engage the light infantry regiment. These units can spread out and start engaging the enemy reinforcements. Steady. Garrison guards bolster the line behind the Swiss pikes. They're still there, doing some good damage. You want cavalry around them into the, in the rear, really, but it's hard to get. The mercenaries just getting annihilated. I think, though, this is their last roll of the dice. Throw the garrison guards into the fight. If we can break through on the breakthrough against the line infantry on their their right flank, that's their weakness. So they fold, they fold into the fold into the Swiss grenadiers. Don't want any howitzers. There you go. Now they're starting to be surrounded. Now they waver. And the artillery is retreating. Gunners engage the fusiliers. Let's get my cavalry out on the field. Reform the line. Pretty sure. Probably their last unit. Let's see. Oh no, there is one more unit. This unit of Hessian Jaeger. So that's. I believe, but that is going to be their last unit. So let's just treat them as such. Let's get annihilating some of these enemy troops. There we go. We are going to continue just to try and kill a handful more. Artillery needs to cease fire. Oh, the Austrians did some good damage, but it's not going to be enough. Good. Killed another unit. Kill the Hessian Jaeger. Kill the last of his enemy horse artillery unit, although they don't want to die. One left. Get him. Okay, let's use both my cavalry units to attack one unit. We're not going to kill them all. Okay, now go after the Swiss pikes. Not that it really matters. That's quite a good victory. Our first, our lead element has taken a lot of damage, but we can actually we can deal with that. Actually, we did catch up to the Swiss pikes. We're not going to kill them, but we're going to do a lot of damage to them, that's for sure. Well, yeah, that first army. That first army's been obliterated. They've done good work. God, they lost... Like, what's that? Two-thirds of their army? Awesome. Scamper back. You scurvy dogs. You ask too much. William Charlton, you're a hero. Did you gain any... Ian Brandt. Sir, sir, your orders. This guy got clawed it, so I made him run away immediately. Yes. Mr. Sloper, you have reinforcements moving up, do you not? Well, I'm going to recruit some more anyway. Let's recruit a awesome artillery unit. It's going to take a few turns to get here, mind. Um, actually, in which case, I would sooner have a faster unit. Sorry, everyone. That was a sneeze, and I couldn't stop it. 
Uh, right. Troll pounder for you. Advance forward. forward. Yes, sir. This unit can advance, but they are in the they are in a weaker position, so they're going to replenish. Make ready. Mr. Charlton's going to replenish. Then we are going to push forth towards uh, Strasbourg. We're going to take sir. Gerard Arger. Engage these two smaller Austrian forces to the north. Then we're going to really put the squeeze on the Austrians. But then we're going to have to do a forced, a forced crossing of the river. That could be quite interesting. And again, I know we're not doing anything in the Balkans, but it's because we've got a... I don't want to put any more troops in there to try to get an advantage. But because we've got the fortress, if the enemy tries to attack us, we'll annihilate them um, in a defensive battle. I think that's the reason why there hasn't been much action from the AI in that direction. Because they know that death awaits them should they attempt to uh, attempt to maneuver in that area okay line infantry in the center split my foot guards up on either flank should give them a skirmisher unit on each flank something like that alright so let's open up with Quick climb, rockets, open fire, whatever you like. Group the cavalry, get the general involved. Oh, I wanted, I wanted you guys to advance, but I don't think we're going to have that opportunity. Enemy reinforcements are coming in on the right flank, so we want to be aggressive on the left. My foot artillery also fires shrapnel shot. Let's just try and fire shrapnel shot at the entire position. The gunners. Well, my my artillery just. My infantry, rather, just charge the gunners. Republican Guard, get in. Cavalry in general, also get over here. Get in the position to start pouring fire onto the enemy units. Aiming at the artillery. Got rid of one gun team. Quick climb ahead of the line. A lot of artillery. Kill the Jaeger. There we go. The enemy line has been annihilated. Just a round shot for my foot artillery. up the line, Republican Guard, take the ground, long riflemen, scamper up. Don't Jaeger Sophia, focus on them with my foot artillery. Grenadiers come in here, storm into the enemy unit here. The long row from the map. We 
General's the last man alive. Get him. Get him. Let's get my general over here. Chase him down. He's tired. You are also tired. We got him. You managed to attack another general's bodyguard. You are foot guards and grenadiers. It's a bad idea for the enemy. So there he is. Got him again. Okay, I think my howitzers are now causing problems. Rockets are away. A long row from men are involved. Those fry core cavalry aren't going to know what hit, what's going to hit them. Tressier go for the mountain Jaeger. We cut them down and go after. Actually, let's. I'm getting my light cavalry involved. Kill those Jaeger. Don't let them take the ground from us. Push forward, maintain the pressure. Cavalry. Kill the last of these. Yeah, you get. Although now the my cavalry can get out of here. Well, they are being picked off by somebody. Ah, there's hidden skirmishes around here somewhere. Withdraw. There they are, Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Open fire, engage that unit of Swiss line. Push forward. Do not let them develop a safe haven. You're still killing those militia. Just keep killing them. Scurvy dogs. The original horse is going to hit the Swiss Mountain Jaeger first. Awesome, they're going down. Although we are going to run into some spike trouble. Not a huge problem in of itself. Then attack those Jaeger there. The Swiss line are also in deep stuck. There we go. General kill them. All of my artillery. Ceasefire, everybody here. Ceasefire. Continue. Okay. Folks on the foot guards. Hey, you might 
actually kill those militiamen now they've retreated a really dumb direction. Two Jaeger left. Okay, work. You guys help them kill those guys. It's the Swiss Mountain Jaeger got rid of. Try and go for those guerrilla mercenaries, but I don't think it's going to work. Swiss Line of Garn. Okay, it's you guys against the Swiss Jaeger, but you don't need any help. Nice. Very nice indeed. Excellent. Okay, we can repair the cloth mill. Mr. Argo. Argo, Argo. Can make ready. Forward! This force can Forward advance. This force can back up March! the force at the bridge. Awesome, we're squeaking them in. Okay. So you get two skirmishers. Okay, you need more artillery. It's going to take way too long for that. It's okay, we need to focus on 12 pounder yeah, artillery yeah. being recruited in Paris. Something like that. And then let's go. Line infantry guard, grenadier guard, fusilier. Engineer, expat, and line infantry. Awesome. Keep maximizing our Paris's capacity for recruitment. Andrew Finch, you're recruiting artillery. You need an extra unit of skirmishers, a unit of guerrilla mercenaries. Scotland's already got a good block of. Infantry to bolster your, your formation. So you're recruiting an extra seven units, which will nearly fill you up. You could probably do with one more cool unit of cavalry. I always forget to recruit them, but let's get some horse grenadier guards. Great, then that means your army will be finished, ready to go into the mix. 9,600. Your strength is still gathering, but I don't think this I don't think this army could really leave Santa Fe without causing riots. Okay, you're all gonna join up with them. Good, 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 good. Yeah, so right now I've got lots of good defensive positions here. I don't really wanna lose the defensive advantage, especially if it allows me to tie tie up a lot of Austrian troops kind of trying to protect Vienna. Especially when Vienna is actually really, they're really war weary. There's a lot of clamour for reform. They really do not like the war. It's pretty good. Um, down in India, Mysore, garrison force. You're moving up. Ceylon is close to recruiting another unit, another full army. But let's keep recruiting there. Sir. Carl Bradley, you're getting a good amount of recruitment. At the ready. Okay, you're being reinforced. We've got a Madnagar, and that's being everything's being built and repaired. Yeah, I don't think there's a huge amount to do. So let's hit end turn and see what happens in the world. Reinforcements are on the way to the front line across the board. Uh, can you just take one? You can't take any of them. Cool, okay. That's not a problem. I mean, really, we should order 66 Spain. Um, that would help cut down on the turn times a bit by knocking out one extra faction. All right, Austria's going to grind it down. Radio, I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back in a second. So see you in a minute.
Well, thank goodness, because I've been waiting for this turn to finish <laughs> for about half an hour now, and they finally wand someone's wander within range where I can actually engage them and do some good. Let's destroy this force under Ernest Schiff. So yet another army that's pushed through the uh, Hanoverian border area. So yeah, we definitely need to do something about them. But it's all about having having enough firepower so that when we push into Hanover, that we don't just create uh, a longer line and we don't have the the coverage on the front to make sure that Austria doesn't screw us over. At least how it is right now as they send bits and pieces through, not necessarily large amounts of troops. Okay, let's drop the guns up here. So... My cavalry force is a bit weak. Okay, my engineers and fusiliers are gonna drop are gonna go up front, place stakes. then fall back to my main infantry line. Something like this. Maybe a bit further back. Something like this. And then we're going to put a weak unit of infantry holding flank. Sharpshooters are going to be up here. Providing a bit of coverage for them. Group those together. Engineers and decent unit of line infantry. No, sorry, grenadiers and a decent unit of line infantry are going to hold the woods on the high ground. And let's get ready to rumble. Okay, I think that's everybody. Let's take my these troops, and place their stakes. Twelve pounders are going to focus on the enemy twelve pounder. these guys too far up. Actually, no, you want to be... No, you do want to be where you are. This line's going to ink out some, I think. Come on, men. Place the stakes. I don't mind if the carabiner push forward. Might get one of my... Nah, I don't mind. They can engage. And pull my these troops back because they've all placed their stakes pull back through the line then I'll deploy them out onto the wings actually no, there's no point in shrapnel shotting the Lancer guards they're going to get shredded by the stakes anyway okay pull my grenadiers back they're getting picked off by the Carabiner at long range. So, actually, to be honest, all of these units can probably just march them over here, face away from the front line. Fusiliers can form up on the flank. They're going to play, they're going to go into diamond formation to try to penetrate the stakes, and it could work actually. Bring my weak cavalry over here. It worked, but they still they took terror, tremendous losses. These gunners just shrapnel shot the enemy infantry. We're going to get some overwhelming fire support on the left, which is going to be quite nice. Carabino, we're charging for a minute. Grenadiers have unloaded onto them. Okay, the mass, the focus of the enemy infantry attack is coming in directly ahead of my 12 pounders, so just keep shredding. Okay, let's fold my blank in.
accuracy, yeah, okay. Infantry, get over here. Cavalry, run over here. We crossed my state line. The, the uh, shrapnel shot is not working. Not to the degree it needs to work. That was should have been a good hit. Those are some good hits. Second rank, fire! are going to make it to our line. They've made it on the left. Grenadiers commit. This infantry unit, these infantry units push up around the flank. Cavalry engage the attack the enemy's, enemy general's bodyguard. Fusiliers, okay, and get my engineers over here. I need to try to break that line of tree unit. Let's get my fusiliers over here to fire into the backs of this block of troops. My infantry units are kind of just holding the line. Skirmish cavalry just charge the enemy. Uh, one of our shotgunners. Pivot my line. Start to get some extra fire support, although the enemy reinforcements coming in from that flank, potentially. From the right, my right flank. Okay, you guys can surround and destroy the Swiss line. My infantry here, their job is to just hold the line. Not necessarily to win, just to hold. Skirmish cavalry back out of position. Artillery. You blast the line infantry guards. You blast that unit of line infantry guards. Excellent. Engineers. Okay, you men form up into a new line. Engineers hit into the flank of that unit there. So this line infantry unit's got my engineers now on their flank. So they're going to be under a lot more pressure. Still attempting to try and protect my protect my line, but I think yeah, right now we're in a position where we kind of have to make hay while the sun shines. So the general's routing. My grenadier guards charge into the back of the enemy line infantry guards. Excellent. Got a good, good few kills here. This infantry unit is wavering and now they're broken. Perfect. Charge down the hill towards this other enemy infantry. It's got a unit of mercenaries and a unit of line infantry guards. Okay, we're causing. So the right flank is collapsing. Just keep retargeting my artillery. And generals at risk of being killed by. by routing troops. Well, by um, misses from. Well, the enemy infantry firing on my line infantry and then them missing their shots. Push my infantry through the trees. Get my heavy cavalry to attack the enemy cavalry. Excellent. This regiment of foot has done a great job holding the enemy up. The mercenaries are waving. The line infantry guards are still in still here in large numbers. Let's get my general involved. Attack this, uh, attack this center of this, this area of enemy strength. The engineer fell. We made it all the way to the center. There we go. Shatter the mercenaries. Kill the line infantry guards. Nice. 
push forward. Clear out the battlefield of enemy troops. Team attack the mercenaries. And my heavy cavalry um, is running. I'm pretty, pretty sure that's just my use of shrapnel shot. It's probably committed a bit of fratricide there. Push my line forward. Skirmish cavalry go for the guerrilla mercenaries. General Mopper, the line infantry. This infantry block push forward. Let's get a unit of Crossier over here to try to try kill a few enemy units. Oop, shrapnel shots just done a number on my sharpshooters. Okay, you men pursue the line infantry guards. I want to advance at speed up towards where the enemy reinforcements are entering the field from and secure this slightly higher ground. Awesome. A couple of infantry guards there. That'll be those are some good units to take away from Austria. Losing decisively. So this, yeah, that line infantry guardsman committed suicide. Yeah, you kill them. Chase down the mercenaries. Chase down those mercenaries. Kill the last of the line infantry guards. Of the two, I would prefer you to attack the sharpshooters. Sharpshooters are, are better and more expensive than guerrilla mercenaries. But they're probably going to escape. Both these cavalry units just go after that mercenary unit. That means they should actually kill them. that back there. Demi cannons. Artillery cease fire. Don't really care about demi cannons. Kill the sharpshooters. The Swiss grenadiers are going to get away. Kill the demi cannon. Come on, it should just fall over. Chase down the unit of militia, everybody else cease fire. It's the last unit on the field. Got him. Nice! Some good kills there. That force is, yeah, 3,000 down to 500. So that reinforcing army's gone. This army's pushed back. Awesome. So I'm going to chop the recording again because I have no idea how long this end 10 is going to take. So see you next. So we'll see you in a minute, everyone. And we are back. So for those of you that get afraid of uh, Empire Total War crashing, this end turn phase in <laughs> in its totality took one hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Never let... <laughs> I mean, it should be kind of uh, obvious to suspect that I've taken a bit of a time... <laughs> I've taken a bit of time to do other things while this is happening. Okay, fleet arrives. Jared Brown. Another army for the Europeans to be destroyed by but what's the best way to use it could deploy them to the south well again I think I just need more firepower in the north I think we need more armies more armies at full strength just so we can Fight one engagement, do a lot of damage, then just immediately follow it up with multiple attacks. I think that's the biggest that's the biggest thing we can do right now. Let's bring you down and in. Let's do some construction con construction here in India. I mean we don't need to do most of these because we don't need to worry about 
happiness, um, but we do want to see. I completely didn't didn't know he scampered his way around the edge like that. Uh, it's part of the risk of not watching the end turn phase because it takes so long. You have to be real careful about what it is you're going to do. Okay, let's get better roads, mining complexes, flip our economy, Rhineland. Yeah, we want to keep on upgrading church schools because we don't want. We want these areas to be as stable as possible. All the arm. Yeah, that's good. We don't need don't need multiple, but I think really it's just about getting the um getting the religious agents in position. So you're gonna push here. Just to lever it and be ready to hold off this army if they push west. Got one army here that's behind our lines, but they're they're not worried about them. We've got this army that's sir. Yes, being sir. recruited like mad. Uh, you can't get to your target army, but that's okay. So then the next thing you want to do is to just smash this concentration of Austrian troops. And that is going to be an enormous action. Yes, sir. So we do want to make sure that we are just... Getting everybody lined up. Waiting for your orders. March. You for to leave Cologne. By the land. March. Uh, they're very un well. The upper class is happy, unhappy about it, um, but we are recruiting extra yes, line infantry. You can probably minus one. That's that should be okay. So Ernest Southerns is just holding that northern flank against Hanover. Probably do with attacking these guys and pushing them back, but again, this is the this is the mother load. If we can smash this force here, then we are in. But it's going to take. It's going to be a tricky one. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to need to just combine some of these troops, and then bring up some reinforcements. turns to get them recruited. I wonder where they're coming from. Okay, heavy artillery going into Humphrey Sloper. Right, you're a good army to start this engagement. Ian Brent is also in good shape. Let's move them up. You're in not in good shape, so I definitely don't want you to be first in. You're at full strength. You're in reasonable strength. Okay, I think so. we're going to want to take this force. You're only this army's only slightly depleted, although that's that unit's pretty weak. Let's just beef up the rest of our line infantry units. So I'd rather have one weak unit and multiple reasonable strength units. That's okay. Okay, right. I think we want to attack Frederick Habersack. Slaughter them! Four. So we're bringing lots of troops to bear and this is going to be a, a very bloody battle and we're going to need to be on the offensive because we are the attackers. And that I think, in general, what we want is artillery, but we don't want... Well, I'll take heavy horse guard artillery coming in, because it's super efficient. It's just such a good unit to have. Although I don't necessarily want it to be the first unit. Like in this case, this army, just bring in... Be responsible for bringing in the... Uh, Infantry, although probably want line infantry guards and grenadiers in first. Not so bothered about how it says some cavalry would be nice. Because I mean, yeah, battles are won and fought, fought and won rather by the infantry, not by artillery. So that's good. You're good. Okay, let's not have too many. Force artillery units at the front. Particularly not bothered about how it is for the time being. And then this unit, um, 
just whatever you've got is full strength. Rockets would be okay. But I think that's going to be about it. We definitely don't want any of these weak, really weak units coming in. Probably something akin to that, if I had to guess. Um, but yeah, we're definitely not going to fight this action here. Um, and now, we're going to fight it in the next episode. But this is going to be a slaughter fest. So what's that? You know, rough, roughly 13,000 v 15,000? Yeah, we should be in a good sp good place. We just need to need to get the fu need to get the battle done. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven armies. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is all of the troops west um, of this river. This is our chance to smash their center of gravity and cause them some real problems. But that's definitely going to be for the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for this enormous battle. Cheers, everyone.